Okay, I'm going to start doing these um, vlogs, old school vlogs, not um, the overly produced or attempts at overly produced um, YouTube videos, like true vlogs, because I do like vlogging. And so what you're hearing right now in the background is the kids in their room that's adjacent to you our room here at the hotel um it's easter it's easter today and it has been it has been the best easter honestly um i used to have the kids like egg hunt i've egg hunted um we focused on that because also like in france where I was raised, um, they used to do egg hunts at Easter. And it wasn't, it's interesting because the way that I grew up, um, it's as if I was like the only kid. So, um, and this is with my, um, this was when I was in France. So this is gonna be uh, my white uh, mom raising me here in her family when I refer to that. And so she did it in a way where I think what ended up happening was that there were a lot of comments, like there was a lot of racism. And so she realized that in order to keep me, um, unfortunately she couldn't continue taking care of other people's children or running her daycare. And, I guess it was lucrative enough with what my parents were paying her uh, that she just started taking care of us full time. And we were like the only kids that she was taking care of, the only family that she was taking care of. And so it's sort of like au pair, but reversed because we lived there with her in France. And so anyhow, and my parents lived elsewhere in other countries while they finished doing what they were doing at my mom namely medical school in Santa Domingo, but she visited frequently. And um, my father also visited, but more at the big times, like big holidays. It's interesting because Easter was a big holiday, so they would have been with us in France. Anyhow, um, this is the first Easter, Easter of 2024, where my uh, immediate family currently that I created, everyone is Catholic. My husband is Catholic, I've been Catholic, and all three of my boys, my sons, are also Catholic, confirmed everything. That's it. We are all done, and we are, we are home. And I don't wanna get emotional, right? And. But I just, I know that I have been to a lot of countries. I've traveled a lot. I've been in a lot of places. Um, I've been around all sorts of different types of people, not necessarily by virtue of like skin color or sex, right? Or by sex, I mean sexual orientation or um, vocation, but literally all sorts of people based primarily on social class and uh, social status type of all sorts of different types of demographics. And the one place that is always the same, no matter where I am, which country I am, who I'm rolling with is a Catholic mass. That's always the same. I know how a Catholic mass proceeds from beginning to end. I know when I can leave. I know when I can sneak out. I know when I can't. I know what to do. I feel at home. And I've always felt at home at Catholic mass. <laughs> and I have visited other, I guess, 
religious denominations and their services and it's definitely humbling i know this may not be this may seem like a odd phrasing right but it definitely is humbling to me to be back and I'm so glad that I was wrong about God and Jesus in that when I say I'm so glad that I was wrong is that I did succumb to peer pressure, you know, and I fell into the whole focusing on what the human beings in the religion are doing to other human beings. And trying to be seen as someone who is inclusive and accepting of others and who isn't throwing her social status or her social class around. And by that, I don't mean simply, yes, I'm hecka educated, right? And um, I have a nice home. I have beautiful children. I'm able to educate them the way that I want them to be educated and all of those things. But I am not able to do those things based on my any current or past job or any of the diplomas that I have, any of the education that I have. Because if that were the case, we wouldn't be where we are. That wouldn't be something that I would be able to sustain or maintain on solid founding or foundation or grounding because I have so many haters and it's it's insane. It really is insane because I am really not that important. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm really not. Um at least I don't think that I should be to people um, who seem to be very focused on how I live my life and making sure that um, I can't sort of like level up. And I just thank God. I do. I just thank God because... It's hard to explain, you know? It's hard to explain, it really is. Um, so, my kids are closing their door on the partition, not my door, not my side. So, anyhow, I'm just thankful. So this is our last Sunday at the hotel, thank God. We are moving back home to live on um, the upper part of the house, which is somewhat demolished, but demolished. But there wasn't actually like heavy duty um, deconstruction going on. I can't remember demolition demo. There wasn't heavy demo that was going on there. So. Uh, it's not great, right? But it's not um it's not like the basement. I've shown the basement. Like that's and I think they still have some more demo to do there tomorrow. Um the the wall people, foundation people are coming in tomorrow as well. So that should be interesting. Um I have to finish sorting through the clothing that we brought to the hotel because we're not keeping everything. Um, and that shouldn't take much longer tonight, honestly. I've moved through a lot already. And once I finish with that, um, my husband is, you know, he's transporting stuff back home so that when we leave the hotel, we're just transporting the kids and, um, Maybe one suitcase. We may not even have a suitcase, honest to God, like when we leave here because um, it's just going to be ourselves. <laughs> We're just spending tomorrow night, Monday night, 
and then we're checking out Tuesday. So um, I know that I, they want to swim tomorrow, so that's why we're here, only reason. And then they might swim in the morning again on Tuesday, and check out is at 11, so we'll be gone. Um, actually, that may not work on Tuesday because I have class in the morning. And I get back here at 10. Yeah, I feel bad. And then there's people working in the house. So the pool opens at five. So we can probably swim from five to seven. And I can take a quick shower and stuff and leave the hotel at 7.30 to get to class and that's it. That'll be the last time I'll be here unless I come back and get here like at maybe 10, 15 or so. And then just do one last walkthrough and then leave, check out. Um, maybe we could do that. I have to talk to my husband about this probably tomorrow to figure out what we're gonna do, but. Yes, there's that. And then um, I really should write an outline of what I want to talk about before I, I hop on here to talk. Um, especially when I'm doing updates in one sitting. So it's not so boring. But I'm going to in insert clips of the swimming today. My husband has some clips of uh, Easter vigil um, when we were inducted as a family into the Catholic faith. He doesn't have a lot of clips because, like, we're all on we're all on the altar. Like, you know, who's gonna be filming? <laughs> um, I haven't bought one of those tripods yet because I should. That's what I should have done. Um, gotten one of those tripods that you put your phone on and it just records, you know, everything. Um, yeah, that's my next investment. That might come in handy to, to capture family things so that, uh, we can all be in, in it and not just, for example, my husband recording us or me recording them. So... Let me actually write that down because I saw, I think I saw that somewhere. Somebody was advertising something like that. So, stand up tripod for vlogging. So, I do enjoy um, vlogging. Like I said earlier, I enjoy recording my life. I enjoy recording myself because... I like to see what I'm up to. I like to see what I get up to. I like to see how it looks. Um, it's fun. Those are get it, get it. Those are don't, don't. I don't really have an audience that I'm targeting for my marketing um, because I'm not a big girl yet, so <laughs> that's not something that I'm even considering. Honest to God, I just want to make sure that come April 11th, when my whole bar program starts on Quimby, that I'm ready to, like, start it, you know? And I think it resets at, at a certain point. But like I listen, I need I need all the help that I can get. The bar exam is something that I'm only trying to take once in my life. That's it. That's it. I have no interest in having to take it again and having to apply again. And are you my application was like 389 pages, I think. I think There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Um, 
I graduate. Holy moly. I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually. I feel like I'm gonna start crying. Um. I graduate from law school in one, two, three, four, five. I graduate from law school in five weeks. And we thank God. We thank God. don't know how but only God and this is why my faith is so strong because I know that I've taken him for granted much too often in my life much too often in my life because he's always been there and he's always provided and he's always been constant and he's always been stable and so it is i think human nature to start to take for granted what's always there oh my husband is coming in at the right time i'm vlogging it's my get to know me i've already cried it's terrible so um, realizing that I'm graduating from law school in exactly five weeks, that's just crazy. <laughs> it's just crazy. Did you see you too? <laughs> Did I graduate from uh, cybersecurity master's school too? Oh, I did. Okay, I also have a master's in cybersecurity operations, just so you know, as of December. May I have some ice, please? Did you already lie down and get comfortable? Yes. I'm sorry. Oh, do you want to show your t-shirt, Betty? Thank you. Three pieces of ice. No, there's three ice. There's three ice. Okay. I'm getting three ice. All right. So hopefully things go according to plan because technically I've hired a black owned cleaning company. Yay to come in and clean just from the main level up to the master's bathroom that we're gonna be living in. Um, going to explain to them when they get there that um, this they're gonna see that there's construction going on. They're gonna see that, but I wanna explain why the areas that are not technically under construction look like that. <laughs> You know, and then I think that I want them to come in. I'd said weekly, but oh, thank you. Is this water from there too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here, you just put water on the keyboard, my dear. Um, can I get like a napkin or something? What? There's water on the keyboard. Can I get like a, a rag or something? So there's a box of tissue in the bathroom. Thank you, dear. So, um, 
I just finished saying, oh shoot. Okay. I'm wiping the keyboard and my computers and all kinds of things over there. Anyway. That is good. Me and these straws. They're getting my water. Is this a receipt I'm supposed to hang on to? Oh shoot. That's funny. This is um I think she's a manager. Director of rooms. Um Did you write this what? on the back of this receipt? Oh, I don't think so. They gave me a receipt with something written on it. Here, honey, yes. pay attention. Right. Are you sure this is not your handwriting? It looks like your handwriting, right? Yeah, but I don't, yeah. I don't know what I'm writing there. I don't know what you're writing there either, but okay. I figured so. Yeah, so this is from the 20th of March at the Holiday Station. So this is last Wednesday, right? When I discovered that, um, Apparently, my debit card for my own, like, personal checking account. It's not that there's insufficient funds, but it was flagged by fraud. So my own bank flagged my card for fraud because there are too many purchases. And so <laughs> we got into the hotel March 7th. Yeah. So kind of like the first week of March because the first week of March technically like was on a Friday the week before, so. It's technically like the first week of March because the disaster happened at the house. And then, so, for the last, I want to say, 11 years, um, I haven't really been using my card like that. I don't buy things really um from my account i don't really use my account that account um and so getting into the hotel all of a sudden there's like an increase in the activity in like on my card because um i'm buying things because i'm not at my house you know like it's not my routine where my husband goes to the store, he buys things, and he stacks cupboards, pantry, refrigerators, um, pantries, because there's two kitchens, but, and the contractor keeps trying to get rid of one of them for some reason. Right, honey? Yeah. Like, I don't know why Adrian wants to get rid of my kitchen, like, our second kitchen. And he's like, oh, you can do a, a, a dry bar or wet bar? A wet bar. A wet bar. And I'm like, what the... What the F is a wet bar? And, and he, 
they pull up pictures. Oh, you know, right here, you see, you know, there, there's a sink. And then you can put your liquor. <laughs> I'm like, my liquor? There is no liquor in this house, sir. You walked in here, you saw not one stitch of freaking liquor. And you want to convert my kitchen into a wet bar, sir? He said yes. He said yes. And I said no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you will not be renovating by taking away. <laughs> you will be renovating by enhancing and adding to. Because that is a renovation. You don't renovate to downsize. What the? Am I tripping? No. What's wrong with people? Mm, calm down. I'm having anger issues. I'm having anger issues. I apologize. So, this has been my chaotic get to know me. Uh, feel free to post questions below that you would like answered. And I will do a get to know me part two. I'm going to try to vlog um, like every day for 30 minutes <laughs> this year. <laughs> Just no, I want to capture like my different moods as I go through this renovation process and like graduating from law school, my kid graduating from high school and starting college in the summer at Hamlin on the presidential scholarship. Um, there's other stuff. I just want to document all of that for myself and look back at it because the way that I vlogged last year is I had a bunch of videos and film and it ate up all of my storage, like on my phone, on my devices, like, and it sat there because I like to put everything together right before the new year and then post a video that's like an hour long of just the stuff that's like, yeah, you know, from the year, but ain't nobody got time for that. I'm not doing that. So, um, this is, this is much better. Muy bueno. And if I can get apparently 50 subscribers, I can go live because I would have been gone live since Valentine's day instead of these shorts that I'm posting. But apparently you need 50 subscribers to go live first. So yeah, I don't have 50. I don't think I'm even close. So And I'm not going to buy subscribers. So, yeah, that's just, that's ridiculous. Or is it? No, that's ridiculous. You don't buy subscribers. Like, do you buy subscribers? <laughs> He's not paying attention. Otherwise, he would say something to that. I'm thinking about buying subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's all I have. Yeah, baby. You're right. That's all I have. Um, I don't know if I should bring those two, the three, and the four on here um, to say bye-bye until tomorrow. This is Easter. I guess I'll bring them on. But we have to do it like our night prayer because they need to go to bed soon. Hey, guys. Hey guys! Okay. Hi, how was your Easter? Good. Oh, great! <laughs> I have to do your hair. I have to do your hair too. I got baptized. You got baptized? How was that? Good. And yeah. Also, oh, I'm getting one step closer to swimming. You are actually swimming, but yes. Mm -hmm. You want to come and get on your mom's YouTube? Uh, no, that's this one. Hello. <laughs> All righty. Are you guys ready for prayers? Yes. All right. Everyone, I guess. 
Thank you. This is how we end our first vlog, Easter. Bye.